Understanding titles and surnames, your identity in words. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today we're going to delve into an important part of English social interactions, understanding titles and surnames. More specifically, we'll be focusing on the definition and purpose of surnames. First, let's get clear on what a surname is. In many cultures, a surname, also commonly referred to as a family name or last name, is a part of a person's name that they share with other members of their family. It typically comes after a person's given name. For example, in the name, Mr. John Smith, Smith is the surname. Surnames serve several purposes. 1. Identity. A surname identifies a person as part of a specific family or lineage. This means that if your surname is Johnson, for instance, people know you belong to the Johnson family. 2. Heritage. It's also a way of connecting us to our ancestors and our heritage. A surname can tell us a lot about our family's past, such as where they came from, what type of work they did, or even their social status. 3. Differentiation. Lastly, surnames help to differentiate people with the same first name. Imagine a room full of people named John. How would you know who's who? That's where surnames come in. Now, remember that surnames can vary widely depending on one's cultural background. For example, in many Western cultures, children usually inherit their father's surname, but this isn't always the case. In some cultures, individuals may have a combination of their mother's and father's surnames, or even adopt entirely unique surnames. That's all for today's lesson on titles and surnames. Remember, surnames are a crucial part of our identities, connecting us to our families and heritage, and differentiating us from others. Understanding this will help you in your journey of learning and communicating in English. Stay tuned for our next video, where we will delve into the use of titles and etiquette associated with them. Keep learning, and see you next time.